Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to show you guys how you can get gorgeous, colorful backgrounds on your decorated sugar cookies with little to no artistic talent. I promise, guys. <laughs> this watercolor technique is so versatile. We can use it on royal icing cookies, on buttercream, and on fondant. So before we get painting, let's talk about some of the things we're going to need to get started. First, you're going to need some prepared cookies. Here I have sugar cookies that have been dipped in royal icing and dried. But remember, we can use it on buttercream and on fondant as well. I have my gel food colors. I have some edible food markers. We have some nylon paint brushes that have only been used for food. And we have some high proof grain alcohol. Now we use alcohol instead of water because the longer the water sits on the sugar of the cookie, the more it will melt the sugar, which is no good for our cookies. So you use an alcohol because the alcohol is gonna evaporate that moisture much faster, leaving behind less damage to the icing. So some states only have up to 80 or 90 proof, which is perfectly fine. Those alcohols work great. You just may need to use the assistance of a little bit of a fan to kind of help speed up the drying process, but that works just as well. The only thing I do not recommend painting with is either water because it takes too long to dry or flavored extracts. I know they're made with alcohol and I see a lot of people painting with them, but what I have a problem with is once that alcohol has evaporated, what's left behind is that super concentration of flavor, whether it's lemon or vanilla. I just find when it's dry, it's off-putting. It's too much. So stay away from the flavorings. Use more of a grain alcohol. Alrighty. So let's get started. The first technique I wanna show you is how to use these edible food markers. These are the easiest thing in the world to use. You're gonna need a snack bag or sandwich bag, like you see here. And all we're gonna do is draw some of that color onto our baggie. So here we did some green, some blue. How about a little yellow? And then we'll do some pink. Now, to get the watercolor effect, I'm gonna take some of that grain alcohol that I have put into a little misting bottle. And I'm just gonna mist that marker now what we can do is lay down our cookie, turn this color over, and we're gonna touch it to our cookie. <gasps> See that? Now you can swirl it around, you can leave it just as it is, but then you pick the bag back up and what's left behind is your print. How gorgeous is that? It looks like tie-dye. So, this, because I'm using the high proof alcohol, is gonna dry really, really quickly. I don't need to use a fan. But if I was using something in 80 or 90 proof, I would then set this with my little fan to dry. And that's it. Guys, seriously, that's how easy it is to use these food markers and cover and color your entire cookie. Fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> Now the next technique I wanna show you, I have my Everclear or my grain alcohol in this little drip bottle. Very convenient, right? Now I will drop a few drops into my palette. I'm going to wet my brush and dip it into some of that gel color and play around with it and mix it a little bit until you get the consistency that you want. And then you touch your cookie. 
So we're just going to paint on our cookie. It's super, super easy. That's as easy as it gets. Look, we're just going to touch this with some color. How nice. We're just going to move it around. Color. Lots of color. There's some green. Maybe we'll get some blue in there. Move it around, just like so. Now, super, super easy to cover a cookie. Now, at this point, what we can do is I've showed you, once you have a dry cookie, you don't need artistic talent. You can use a stencil over top. This is a silkscreen stencil I made. See, I didn't need any artistic talent to make this cookie, but it's beautiful. Here, I did a watercolor technique on the background, and I added some royal icing, just glued on some royal icing transfers. Transfers you can purchase online. You don't even need to necessarily make your own. And then I traced or used my projector and wrote the word mom. Super easy, but yet very effective for covering your cookie and decorating super fast, super fast. Thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like and share and watch those videos and message me and let me know what else you guys want to see. Thank you guys. Take care.